Breaking this morning, we are learning more about former President Bill Clinton's illness. The 42nd president was sent to a California hospital yesterday. Our Brittany Jeffers following the latest from the Texas Medical Center on this. Brittany? Well, to start, fortunately, the former president's doctors say that he is responding well to these antibiotics, but this infection in the bloodstream, often known as uh, sepsis, can be very serious in some cases. So this is the latest that we know right now. A spokesperson for the former president says that he was hospitalized in California for a non-COVID related infection on Tuesday. Now, since then, CNN's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, spoke to the former president's doctor as well as members of his staff about his current condition. What they think is going on with the president, the former president now is uh, a blood infection, uh, sometimes known as sepsis. His doctor is now saying that the uh, infection originated in his urinary tract. Now, the European Association of Urology reports that up to 31% of sepsis cases start as UTIs. And according to medical professionals, sepsis can happen when the body's immune system goes haywire, trying to get rid of an infection that's gotten into the bloodstream, and then it starts attacking the organs. Now, again, uh, medical professionals are saying that the former president is responding well to those antibiotics. They say he's been treated in the ICU, but that is primarily for his safety and privacy. Privacy. They also added that he could be released as early as today, but would continue on antibiotics. Reporting live this morning from the Med Center, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Glad to hear there's improvement there. Brittany, thank you.